Whiteside Sports. Welcome back to the program, episode number 200. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. Huh? 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, but when I drop something on my toe, that's what I, <laughs> man, it has been a while. I barely remembered how to turn these things on. I feel like I got something ready to enter my mouth. Yeah. But I like to get it in close. I like yeah. to feel it brush my lips. Yeah. Cause we don't know which mic's which. So it's nice to play the guest. Yeah. You game. think after what, I don't, you know, 200 episodes. <laughs> I don't know what's been four years. Four years, yeah, <laughs> almost. We're heading into five. Yeah, that we've never marked who's Mike's Mike. We just throw them in the just bag. Throw them in the bag. Throw them in the bag, bitch. Yep. Throw it in the bag. Yeah, it's uh, it's not a well-oiled machine, but it, it, it runs. is not. It runs. <laughs> That's all it is. Well, as we were saying, of I didn't remember that it was a two hundredth episode until you said you got a text message yep. of yeah, oh, I, yeah, yeah. Oh well, yeah, you're right. It is. I got nothing. Pl- it's a Saturday morning. I'm, we're doing it early because it rained and I yeah. left work. Yeah. So. Welcome. Welcome to the program. <laughs> welcome to the program. Welcome to the fucking show. We're doing this because I wasn't busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we matched up on a Saturday morning. I didn't need a nap. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was so out of it. Yeah, I bet. Dude. I mean, most people, would. if you went, if you had the kind of month to five weeks that I had, most people at least would have tried a rope for its tensile strength. <laughs> um, but it was bad. Like most, the modern male would, would have, wouldn't have folded. made it. They yeah. would have folded. They, they, yeah. I mean, I was still work. I couldn't breathe, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I was still working. Yeah. No, I get it. It was, uh, it was a tough time for everybody. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I was not worried. as tough as mine. I was worried. May have been worrisome on you, but it was really hard on me. Yeah, I mean, I was worried about it because I knew, like, you know, we had talked about it before. It's like, I've known the man for a long time now, and I don't know if I've ever seen him sick. And it's been weeks, and he's still sick. So, yeah. The sleeping sitting up was the, <laughs> the, was the problem. Yeah. And, I mean, you run out of breath so easily. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't jerk off as fast as I used to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I have to pause to catch my breath, I lose that. It was tough. I missed the best part. (laughs) I just I had to rewind. Ah, damn it! Damn it! It's gonna shift to that camera to that guy's face. I know it. (laughs) Right when I like, why is that cut (laughs) shot in there? Like, no idea. Here's a hey, the money shot's coming. We better we better show the actor's face. (laughs) (laughs) That's what everybody. That's what everybody wants to see. Uh Oh God, that the uh, still the funniest one. We might as well start episode off talking about pornography. <laughs> episode two hundred, but it's still the funniest one. I can't remember what it was called, but it was back in the day of uh, when uh, one of the friends' family owned a video store, and then it went out of business, and yeah. some of the adult movies got mm-hmm. floated around yeah. <laughs> the school. And it was one of them that the uh, it was. Like a bathtub scene. Yeah. And it was time for the money shot. But like the end of the scene, like they left the blooper in. Oh. They slip and fall? Yeah. When the guy's like, he's like, are you ready? And he takes a step to unload himself on her chest. (laughs) But as he steps, he slips and falls. (laughs) Yeah. And unloads on his thigh. Ah. And then stands up real quick and stands over and goes, (laughs) oh. It's like, so the end of the scene was a blooper. Yes. But it's like, we don't have the money no. to re. No, we can't reshoot. We can't that. reshoot this. We don't have it's not the budget. But the way it's just like, oh, uh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Uh, uh, I like that's porn of bloopers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't really think of any porno bloopers. I don't know now, where to go from there. There was, I remember there was a section on one of the websites that just was bloopers. Really? Yes. Yeah. Because huh. I was like, I'll take a watch. And I remember <laughs> being like, I don't, these aren't funny. <laughs> like, Not, yeah. yeah. It's like, 
They're more sad, yes. actually. <laughs> it's like, ah, that's not good. That's, that's not good at all. Like the one, I remember the one, like the guy was, I wouldn't say injured, but I could just imagine it was going real fast. Yeah. Oh, it no. It missed. Oh. And like hit the leg. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you could tell he wasn't paying attention and it shocked him because you just heard a, ah! <laughs> like that and then like the scene's over and then like that was it was like a, <laughs> like a 30 second blooper and I was like oh oh yeah no no mm-mm. no I want that you'd have a really long thrust to have that problem <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it's, not, it's not enough you gotta be the Chris Jones style <laughs> yeah that was cause I I, yeah, I came up in my feet again yeah. anytime the combine oh my god junk popping out in the with the camera sticking on him long enough, and having the mic to hear him say to that guy, "My dick, dick fell, fell out." out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he could use that verb, <laughs> yeah. with with your with your dick is incredible. Just think, it always pops up in my any time that we get close to draft combine yeah. anything like that because it's just hilarious. Because th- those are the two football of my dick fell out. And then when Vernon Davis played f- for the uh, 49ers and got tackled by his dick yes. on the sideline. Yep. <laughs> and he's Grab slapping that guy's hand. Grab my dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I mean, it's he there. brought you down. It's so there. It's there. Oh. Oh, man. Combine draft. It's, it's Combine's over, obviously. Free agency came and went before yeah. we could talk about it. I guess, you know, I mean... Is there anybody that was shocking to you that was picked up by a team or drama or anything like that? They, not, not really drama, really. but no. And that's the, like, looking at it, like, obviously all the Cowboy fans are freaking out because they mm-hmm. didn't do enough. It's like, you know what? Good teams don't. Like, the teams yeah. that make really splashy mm-hmm. don't usually work they out. They never make the playoffs because mm-hmm. you're so shitty mm-hmm. that you think the toys on the outside are going to work. Yeah. Yet your quarterback has a half a second. of Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. I mean... Yeah, I don't, you know, I guess really the, you know, the Cousins won, not shocked that he left Minnesota, but Atlanta? Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I know he would have been with Raheem Morris in Washington, but that's really the only kind of connection. The best clip that I've seen Mm -hmm. of it just saying Kirk Cousins arriving at Atlanta. Mm Mm-hmm. Was the the scene from Road Trip where oh, yeah. DJ Qualls is walking out and yeah. it's like playing early morning Stone Pimp yeah. and he's like, "What's up?" <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, that was that one didn't have any shock to it. No. it like two weeks before, they're like, "Is is yeah, guaranteed?" Dundee, yeah, and you knew that because Kirk Cousins getting guaranteed money. Yeah, in Minnesota, I mean, it sounds like they got to pay their wide receiver quarterback money. Yeah. So who you, I mean. Yeah. I, no, I get it. I mean, not shocked by that at all. The, um, the, I, I guess the most shocking shit is all the people that Tennessee has signed. Yeah. I, but to me, that one is shocking because you didn't do that with a successful coach. Yeah. Like Rabel was a coach of the year. He went to the playoffs for, three of the four or four of the five years he was there and you didn't try to do, you traded away majority of his better players. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, but it, it was one of those things too, of like, uh, like people start free. Hey, we got Calvin Ridley of like, okay. Like, yeah, he was always the secondary receiver everywhere. Yeah. And most of the time, like every time that I played him in fantasy or whatever, he was always hurt. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, exactly. I I mean, they made some moves to make their team better, but they're not going to be any better yeah. until you see what who's throwing the football. Yeah, I still got to throw the ball to him. Yeah. The Will Levis guy. We don't know if he's a yeah, football player. Yeah, he's eating. Yeah, dumb bitch. Yeah, I mean, uh, the one, I guess, not shocking because of the rumors. Shocking because 
I don't think his style of running the ball fits the offense like Derrick Henry to the Ravens. That doesn't make any sense. No, they they do a lot of the stuff out of the shotgun, and you know he's the downhill running guy. He's not the the zone read guy. I don't know unless they plan on changing some stuff. I you know which they might. They might. But, but he's also I, a I need twenty some touches. Yeah, and that's not no. That's not. I mean, no. I, I that one was. Shocking to me, just from the scheme of things. And it's not like he had a good year last year. No, not at all. And I mean, him, I, he, he would have made more sense to sign like in Dallas. Yeah. Because of their style. Yeah. Or anybody really who runs the ball downhill. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like Joe Mixon to the <clears throat> Texans makes a ton of sense. Yeah. He's 27. Hasn't been used a whole hell of a lot because the Bengals they don't, don't run, run the, the ball. football. Um, and the Texans have a 49ers offense. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that one makes a ton of sense. It would have made sense to try and sign Derrick Henry for them, too, because of that style of offense. Yeah, I just I thought that that one, scheme-wise, was odd because it just doesn't fit his style of running. Yeah, but it was kind of a yeah. ho-hum kind yeah, of. Yeah, not really right. any splashy stuff. I mean, I'm shocked of the amount of moves that like the Steelers kind of did because they don't usually ever do a right, thing. They don't trade. They don't trade. They don't do anything. Um, good for them. I mean, they've done, yeah. they, they got a little better. I love it. How like all this, like the Steelers fans, like our quarterback room's fixed now. I'm like, okay. Well, 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 I mean, you signed two quarterbacks that aren't good at the moment. No, no, you, you signed, potential yeah and the only reason you sign russ because you need a veteran and you sign fields because they play similarly yeah because and, and maybe and maybe and they maybe traded you fields how to yeah throw and you traded fields for a lunch sack of sandwiches like yeah. you gave him a sixth round pick that can be controlled by the steelers if it yeah. turns into a fourth round pick right so you got him for next to nothing he has to play 51% of the snaps. Yeah. He's not doing that. Unless well, the only time, I mean, if Russ gets hurt. Yeah. Because you're playing Russ no matter what because he's the cheapest thing in the world. You're paying him a million dollars. Well, that's the other thing, too, of when that came out of like, uh, yeah, they had some, uh, we had five other teams offered, but we wanted to, Justin wanted to go there. So we were doing right by him. It's like, no, you weren't. That was the best offer you had. If somebody offered you a fifth round pick, you would have taken you would have sent him there. Yeah. Nobody was, give, everybody had the conditional. When everybody knew. Yeah. Because you're going to have to sign him. Well, and the, like, the Raiders mm -hmm. didn't make an effort for him. Yeah. And that was his offensive, offensive coordinator. coordinator. So if he, I mean, you knew. Yeah. I get so, and I'm, I'm a Justin Fields fan. I like Justin Fields. Mm -hmm. I think it was a shit situation. Mm -hmm. He should have never played a snap. That's why they signed Andy Dalton that first year. Yeah. But they're like, well, look at this highlight. It's like, well, they're all highlights of him running and making these deep passes. Like, but how about the three step drop and a seven in, you know, a seven yard slant? Yeah. That he misses by mm. that's that's what they're talking about. Yeah. Or holding the ball way too far yeah. long. Yeah. Yeah, there's obviously some issues. And, you know, if the Steelers can make the playoffs with nobody back there. Yeah. Because they've already proven that. Yeah. They did get better with those two situations. They did. Yeah. I mean, they got better. I mean, Kenny Pickett wasn't the answer. Unfortunately, he wasn't. Well, and that's the thing, too. Like, you're not going to make an argument that Denver was any good at all last year. No. And Russ threw for, what, 25 and 8? Yeah. Had a good year. That's... Stat-wise. That's more <laughs> touchdowns than the Steelers have thrown for the past two seasons combined. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, it, it is an upgrade. It is an upgrade, 100%. Yeah. You just have to put up with Russ shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and I seen his, his first one was like, well, here we go. Oh, dude. Like, all right. The the uh there's a clip because he put out a like a one of his oh, douchey yeah. workout clips. Have you seen that one yeah. where he's doing the drop steps? Have you seen the added on to it? No. So he's doing his drop steps, and right before he, right as he throws it, it turns to like a Madden game, and he throws a pick to a, to a team, and it's it's just like that. It's like the next one, Russell Wilson interception, like in the background. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like that's, that's good. The uh like there's so much pressure on him. Because if you thought it was loud in Denver, uh, that ain't nothing. Like nope. Pittsburgh is gonna. Yeah. I mean, yeah. When you start to suck, those Yenzers are gonna get on oh your ass. Oh God. Yeah. It's. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a. To me, it's a win-win for the Steelers. 
if he sucks, we only paid him a million dollars. Yeah. If he's good, we look like geniuses for paying him only a million dollars and we went to the playoffs. So, and that one is not a big deal at all. Um, obviously, a lot of Browns fans in that I know and in the area and texting me after they traded for Judy and they're like, oh, man, we, I'm like, he led the league in drops the last two years. You can have He's him. never been no. anything. No, I was mad the day they drafted him because I wanted C.D. Lamb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that uh, I tell you, the one shocking thing to me is the amount of quarterbacks the Browns signed. Of yeah. Like, well, uh, the, the Tyler Huntley of like, yeah. what? Because you have DTR. You signed Jameis for six minutes. Like, yeah, he's your backup. Uh-huh. Then you have Deshaun. Yeah. And the Hunt- and Huntley signs for, it was like, t- it was yeah. guaranteed. Yeah. I'm like, and everybody's, well, you know, you always take four quarterbacks. Say, no. Yeah, you take four <laughs> quarterbacks into camp, but usually it's like a unsigned rookie free agent or. Yeah. Like you're not taking a guy that was in the Pro Bowl two years ago. Yeah, exactly. And how, why is he not in Baltimore? That makes no sense. Huntley? Yeah, I don't know. It seemed like a pretty good situation. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I don't know why. They win a playoff game if he doesn't, if that fumble doesn't happen. They beat yeah, the Bengals. They beat the Bengals. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, I don't know. That one was weird. I thought the same thing. I was like, why the hell is he doing that? Um, yeah, just some, not shocking, but just some odd, weird odds and ends of people going to certain places, I guess. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Really not much. No, not much. Not much really That's at all. The one that gets me is obviously with the Cowboys not doing much, but like every year how they always talk about, well, it's the most talented roster. I'm like, is it though? They say that every year, and they, you know, C.D. Lamb, is good. Yeah, he's not a one. He's not a number one receiver on like fucking ten teams. Yeah, I'm like, you're not top. You're not a top five receiver, but it's this mm-hmm. elevation of okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously a showing of like they <laughs> seems like they don't really give a shit about Dak. Of that, like, yeah, you're not the guy. Yeah, that was. Not not saying that they won't sign him, but no, they've kind of said that. Yeah, we'll see how it plays. We ain't signing for what you think. Mm-hmm. That was like the whole big, uh, I guess, in the the Denver beat writing Twitter verse, I should say, and all like the little like accounts that think that they know everything. Yeah. And it's like, well, do we just sign? Do we just roll with Stidham for the year and sign Dak in the offseason? Like, well, no. You have to pay one. You're you're gonna have to pay Sertan next year. Yeah, and he's your best defensive player now that you cut yeah. Justin Simmons. Um, so no, because you're he's gonna want stupid money. You're not signing a quarterback. Period. You're drafting one. Yeah, you're drafting one. That's yeah, it. Roll with it. Roll with it. You're you're getting JJ McCarthy, or you're getting Penix, or you're getting Bo Nix. Yeah, that's your quarterback. Yeah, my guess would be McCarthy. Because I think he's the one because he's shooting up the boards. Uh, he's going to be the one. Oh, he's sliding. It's like, well, he was never a top five guy. No. He was always slotted in that yeah. teens. Yeah. I think they uh, I think they trade back, get a second rounder out of the trade, <clears throat> and then um, <clears throat> take Knicks later in the Where, first yeah, or the second. Yeah. Because yeah. After, after those top four places go, there's not another team who no. needs one. So once you see that big rush of QBs go, you'll know if you can trade back or not when you're at 12. I mean, so no, I mean they're drafting a quarterback. They have to draft a quarterback. Yeah. There's no option to not draft a quarterback. Because they can't pay anybody. Yeah. They can't pay a quality backup. Yeah. And they're not signing anybody but, now anyway. Like the, Next year, they'll have, with the cap hit, they'll have like $130 million in space, right. which is great. But and, pl- and plus, it'll probably go up another yes. 15 to 20. It's fantastic. But again, you don't want to spend all of your fucking money yeah. on one dude when you could, if, if it's a quality guy you drafted, you now have money to help him. Yeah. My only issue, I, I now granted, I know there was a chance they could have made the playoffs for a while. Yeah. But we talked about that of like, they have removed all the guys from their team that we all they should have been trading at the trade deadline. Like, like Sutton should have been moved last year yeah, when his price like, was his, like they were talks that he was get, they were going to get a second or third rounder out of him. Yeah. Now they couldn't shop him because they tried. Yeah. Of like, yeah. yeah. Should have punted. Yeah. Just I mean, yeah. There was a shot, but there also wasn't a shot because we were winning some games. Yeah. It, we were winning games, but we were winning some games that's like. And they shouldn't have. We shouldn't have won. Yeah. And that never ha- turns into that doesn't 
keep, you know what I mean? That's not a yeah. steadily way of winning games. Like, yeah, you got lucky. We had that four game, five game win streak or whatever. And then it's like, yeah, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> now I was pretty happy for the Bengals get Von Bell back at vet men. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because he get paid by Carolina, so yeah, I'm happy with that. A year older, but defense yeah. sucked. Yeah, you lose a woozy, eh? Yeah, lose a bad one. Yeah, but you know, he didn't play much last year, though, did he? He, he was hurt. dinged up yeah. a lot. Yeah, and they signed Zach Moss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two yeah. smaller running backs, mm-hmm. <laughs> which doesn't matter. No, they don't run. They the don't ball. run the ball, so yeah. There was uh, two years late, but got Gasecki. Yeah, this Gasecki. Yeah, and there was talk of Bowers being there when they pick. That, that well, was like one of the spots where I saw him go. That, that's a funny thing too to think about that if they would do that. Of yeah, because like, they signed Gasecki, mm-hmm. which he's not really a tight end, but he's a tight end body, but he's mm-hmm. a slot guy. <laughs> they re-signed Drew Sample. Yeah, and then if you drafted another tight end, of like, are we we're gonna start throwing the tight ends yeah. now? Because you don't. You don't no. throw a tight end. No. The Uzama guy was a was a decent tight end. You didn't throw to him at <clears throat> Yeah. He was a he was a complete tight end. Yeah. He could catch when he needed to and he could block when he needed to. But I think the funniest thing that I've seen fans freaking out of mm-hmm. is when Higgins requested to be traded yeah. since he got tagged. They're like, Oh, we're losing him. It's like Are you do you not know the Bengals? They're gonna tag him. They have no problem letting him walk next year. Yeah. Of like we're not giving and I think Tobin had said that. Hey, we're not give we're not trading a good player when we can get another year out of him. Because mm-hmm. what's that? I mean, yeah. Why would you trade a first round guy mm-hmm. for a sixth round guy? Yeah. When you could just play him a year and let him walk and get a get a third round pick yeah. back because you get back. a compensatory yeah. pick. Of why would we do that? Yeah. No, it's smart. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's well, they let him walk for nothing. It's like no, you get. You get that you get pick. Yeah, if he yeah. signs a big contract, you uh-huh. get like a third rounder. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Makes you're sense. talking about like high end receivers getting traded for like Randy Moss got traded for a fourth round draft pick and then set the record. Yeah. For, I mean, touchdown. Yeah. My still favorite though is just the the Steelers got a first round pick out of fucking Chase Claypool. Oh my God. Yeah. That's, that's the craziest one. It's the Bears. Yeah. And then fucking, uh, is he even in the league? Because the Bears dumped him. Oh. And then he was down in, was he in Tampa or Miami or somewhere? And I think I, he went to Miami. I think they cut him. Yeah. I think he went to Miami after he was cut. Yeah. Talk about a guy who just, uh, that's a bust. Yeah. Because he had the frame. He had some skill. He just couldn't fucking catch Popped the ball. out as a rookie. Mm-hmm. And then fizzled. Then thought of like, okay, I'm the next coming. Mm-hmm. And started to run his jaws. Yeah. And Tomlin's like, yeah, no, we'll see you. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're pretty quick to pull that trigger. Oh, you think you're good? Okay, get out of here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's one thing. The Steelers find receivers. Never heard of them, but they're going to draft some guy out of Central Michigan. Yeah. And he's going to be... They, people don't talk about the development of players a whole hell of a lot because it's the NFL, but the Steel they develop. T.J. Watt wasn't T.J. Watt in college. No. And, and immediately in his rookie season was better. Than he was as a senior in college. It was just a year later. Yeah. Completely different place. So they do have, like, you. nobody ever heard of Alex Highsmith coming out of Colorado State. You, you, you almost led the league in sacks. Yeah. I mean, nobody, you know, did you know who fucking James Harrison was? He's no. A, he's from Ohio. I know yeah. <laughs> but, but just stuff like that. Yeah. You know, nobody knew who Antonio Brown was. You know, I mean, the, the only high profile receiver that I can remember them drafting was Centennial Holmes. And that's because I was a high State fan. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And then he makes the biggest catch, one of the biggest catches in Steeler history. And is, gets a little out of line, they get the fuck out. Yep. See ya. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then you never heard from him again. Nope. You went to the Jets. <laughs> he still looked cool as shit. That when he walked into Trestle's press conference mm. in that like yellowish brown suit or I was like, yeah. that guy's fucking cool as shit. Uh-huh. Oh man. The uh Yeah, but again, they just develop people so or you know players so well so well it's the same thing that the the patriots really got away from their development of players yeah because they had they were in the same boat like you didn't hear about you, didn't, you never yeah. knew who fucking teddy brewski was when he came out or or rodney here or you know what i mean they never drafted top-notch guys but they yeah. always developed them so well and then 
the last like five or six years, it was just kind of went in the pooper. Yeah. That's, uh, well, you know, you miss on a couple of them and now all of a sudden you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. You start to you second guess and everything. And <laughs> you watch the documentary, like Bill had nothing to do with even winning a, one Super yeah, Bowl there. Exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're going to act like this guy didn't. Okay. Yeah. He, he did all, all right. the bad shit and you yeah. guys did the okay. Bill Belichick single handedly ruined Sean McVay's offense where he had to change it. Yeah. In the Super Bowl, in one game. They realized the yeah. next year, like, oh, we got figured out. We have to now go back to do something else. Well, plus he's the only one that ever gets away with it because everybody's so sack mm-hmm. of like, no, you, you play defensive in the way I tell you, you set the edge mm-hmm. and you don't pass the quarterback. Yeah. It's like, it works. That's <laughs> how you're supposed to play it. Yeah. But you're not going to get a lot of sacks. Mm-hmm. That's and, okay. It's all right. It's pressure. Nobody, like, you're not getting a TJ mm-hmm. Watt or you're not getting a, you know. No. I mean, Willie McGinnis is probably the last, I guess, the the dude, the, oh, who, who's the guy there that's pretty good? He's got the best skill of pass rushing there. The big defensive, I forget his name. I don't know. I, don't yeah. know. I, can't, I can't remember his name. He, he's good. He played for the Ravens <laughs> for a couple years yeah. and then signed with the Patriots, but... Um, but yeah, like Willie McGinnis was probably one of the last ones who a Patriot leading the league in sacks or right. high up there. You know what I mean? Just when you're going to have to see that defense is because every quarterback can move now. Mm-hmm. Like, Hey, you can't run up the field because yeah. they just kind of pop out the side yeah, and, and sling it. But all the draft shit's funny. I mean, all of a sudden, Marvin Harrison's not the not best, the best receiver, receiver anymore. anymore. He, might, he, he might go be the third taken. See, that's... Okay, so it's funny you bring that up. With the whole Marvin Harrison thing, everybody's like... You hear some people, you hear players, old players are like, yeah, it doesn't make... Why would he? He doesn't have to run. Yeah. He doesn't have to catch. Watch my film. Yeah. I tweaked my hammy last year. I'm not going to run and try and tweak it again just to show you that I'm fast. I know I'm fast. Watch the film. And then you got other guys who are like, he's going to drop, which he probably will not drop, but he probably will drop in where those people think he should have went. Right. Because, and not, not saying that he did anything wrong. It's because everybody sees the combine and pro days and, and some guys pop like they always do. Like the dude from Washington who just ran his ass off last week. Yeah. Of uh, that Romo Zuni. Roma Dunze. Yeah. Roma Dunze. He, po- I mean, fucking fast. His his catching was good. You know, everything yeah. like that it was it was great. Not saying he's a bad receiver whatsoever, but now you have some teams questioning. Oh, is he better than? Yeah, Marvin? is he? Is should? Well, because that was is he the, above him now. Do the we funny like thing, because like on McAfee, he always does that. Well, our source says, which mm-hmm. means he talked to his dad mm-hmm. <laughs> and he said, "Hey, uh, we're not going to stop running routes and football training mm-hmm. to practice track." Yeah, of yeah, want to run a. That's why I always think of like, hey, do yeah, run your forty if you want to, and your three cones and all mm-hmm. that shit. But how about uh, we're gonna run? You don't have to call it, do it forty yards, do it thirty yards or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but you're running from your wide receiver stance. Yeah. Because you're not putting a hand in the dirt out there. Mm-hmm. Let me see your let break. Me, let, let me see, see how you fast your break is. Yeah. Now. Yeah. No, I'm I'm with you on that one. And uh, I saw one tweet and I freaking was losing it. It was a. Uh, Tennessee's pro day and Joe Milton was throwing and he has this fucking rollout bomb. Yeah. Dude catches it. It was like, a, I mean, the ball was in the air for a fucking mile. And the, the, the line was, uh, Joe Milton, he goes, this is a pass so good. It's going to get some GM fired next year. <laughs> Something like that. It's like, I think so. <laughs> it's exactly. That's exactly what it did. He's a fucking Zach Wilson shit. Yeah. Look at that. Like how he is in t-shirt. He fucking bombed it. I'm like, yeah, that's because that's, that's the other one too. Of like, they get how often are you throwing the ball sixty fucking yards? Never, rarely. How about this fifteen yard out to the sideline? Yeah, can't hit that. How fast <laughs> do you throw that? <laughs> can't hit that one. I can throw it there, but it's not accurate. Yeah, it's going to go to the other loop team. on it. Yeah. That, it's going to be in the other. It's getting to the end zone. Get to the end zone, it's just Maybe behind me. Wrong one. <laughs> it's, it's just behind me. Yeah, it's. That's the bad part with the pro days. Yeah. You get this false sense of hope. And I, you, you know, um, 
I think Dan Campbell is the one who said it. It's like, we don't judge people based off of them doing things in pajamas. We like to watch their film. And there's some truth. There's 100% yeah. truth to that. But there's also truth to nobody fucking knew who Aaron Donald was right. until he went to the combine. Yeah. And then they looked at the tape. Yeah. So there is a good side of it, too. You see these people pop, and then you go watch their tape, and you're like, oh, yeah, he's good. Well, it's like that one. It was at that smaller school, their pro day, that kid. That cornerback, yeah, with had like a forty-four inch vertical, yeah, that helped because now yes. people are going to look. look okay, at yeah, yeah, let's yeah. look at his tape uh-huh. now, and like nobody knew who the fuck that guy was. No, <clears throat> no, not at all. Yeah, it's like the kid from Toledo who's getting a lot of draft. Yeah, talk at the I think he's a corner, a safety, one of the two. It's like nobody would have known who that guy is unless some kind of combine or some kind of tape got leaked in the in social media in that aspect of it. Yeah. Good for the, the, the smaller schools who don't yeah. get the media yeah. spotlight in their games. Yeah, and like the big guys, hey, their games are on TV every week. Everybody yeah. knows who they are. Yeah. yeah. Some of the linemen, oh, this one lineman ran the fastest 40 time. I don't give a shit if that yeah. lineman's fast. I don't give two shits that lineman's fast. Now, I, I <coughs> want him to be able to move. <coughs> Let me see how well his hips move when he, they do their drills. Let me pull this tackle and have him block a safety 40 yards downfield. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because I don't give a shit how fast he is. The running back's faster. <laughs> yeah. That, it's just a weird one, too. Okay, here's the 6'8", 340-pound tackle running a 40. Of like, that's why are... It just it looks weird. And he's it white. does. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, and it's crazy that you don't see any high-end tackles not run. No. Like that Joe Alt from Notre Dame, who's yeah. supposed to be the best one. He did all this stuff. That's lineman shit, though. Yeah. Well, just, we'll do yeah, it. we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody in my meeting rooms have asked me why I'm slow. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> and, th- and that's the problem. Like, what if he runs and it's like seven seconds? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, well, is he athletic? <laughs> like, I mean, it's that's, uh, you know, that guard who ran, you know, a five flat or a four yeah. nine, whatever it was, like, he'll probably get drafted higher now because he looks a little bit more athletic. Yeah. But other than that, I mean. I'll tell you the one that's getting me the most, though, is off the combine. This is signing. Is the owner of the Giants Mm -hmm. saying that he felt betrayed when Saquon Barkley signed with the Eagles? Yeah. Well, fucking sign him. Yeah. You didn't sign him. No. And like Tiki Barber being a douche like he always is. You're dead to me. Like, motherfucker. Like. They were paying me. The Giants said, we don't want you. Yeah. I'm going to where I get the most money. Yeah, exactly. I'm a running back who don't get, who does not get paid as much as what yeah. we think we are. I just want. But the fact paid. that the owner says that of like, mother, you had control of it. Yeah. Yeah. He signed for more money than you, you offered. Yeah. Supposed to take a pay cut. Yeah, exactly. He was the best player on your team last year. Uh-huh. Has been for the last four years. Yeah. Yeah. Now him going to the Eagles is interesting. Yeah, because he's a running back that can go shotgun yeah. down. You know, he's yeah. one of the. He's a little bit more versatile. Yeah, he's helpful. They're about yeah. to. They're about to spin out. Oh yeah, big time, big time. I think you're. I like Jalen Hurts, mm-hmm. but they kind of booked him on that pressure shit when Bosa said that. Of like, mm-hmm. spends a lot of time looking at the rush after we got to him, and then he just went downhill. Yep. Of like, now you got to step your game up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you're right. I mean, the, and I wouldn't call him run first. No. But I guess those, unless you learn how to throw from the pocket, that fizzles out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Lamar stepped up his game and learned how to throw from the pocket. Right. He did it. Vic never <laughs> learned how to throw from <laughs> the pocket. You know, um, Newton. He, he he learned how to go throw from the pocket and then got hurt. Yeah. You know, I mean, he that Super Bowl run, he actually, when they went to the Super Bowl that year, he was throwing from the pocket. He wasn't running as much as he was when he was, you know, first got in the league. We'll see if he, if Hurts learns how to throw from the pocket or if the offense makes him throw from the pocket. Yeah. That, yeah, that was, and then the other one is being is that because the tush push is, you know, they didn't make it illegal. Yeah. Everybody just assuming that they're going to be able to do that without Jason Kelsey. 
yeah is fucking interesting uh-huh. like it was like he had nothing to do with that of like yeah you know mm-hmm. and the, you, then you end up with like your center's like six six of like he ain't getting, he ain't not there. getting there no no <laughs> the tush push that's gotta suck oh, just to have 900 terrible. pounds laying on top of you Ugh. that's not fun maybe yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, depends on the 900 pounds <laughs> Oh, man. I saw a video clip. One of the most impressive things I've ever seen from a high school kid. He's a uh, the Ohio State linebacker commit from uh, Akron Hoban. Squatted 570 seven times. At depth. Like, not like just got there. A little bit below. Like it was 225. Like his seventh one, he may have got out of rhythm. No. And I, I, wa- I watched it like three or four times. It was just like up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then like the seventh one, it was like up or down, uh, up. Yeah. It was like, that's wildly impressive. Yeah, just throwing this up here for reps. Yeah, 570. I mean, I was like, huh. That is super fucking impressive. I mean, he's 18. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, for nothing. Not, not a, I mean, it, I'm sure he was sweating, but it didn't look like it. You could only didn't see. It look like he was working at it. No. I mean, you couldn't see his face. It was just from the back, but it was like, he didn't look, didn't look like his, his color changed. It just looked like he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's my set of seven. All right, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I guess I could have done eight, but yeah. Didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want, I didn't to. want to max it out. Yeah. I mean. Just crazy how just fluid it was. I mean, that was the more impressive thing. I'm like, you have some fucking weight on your back, dude, and you're just fluid. You know, we were talking about that about like the powerlifting thing of what they mm-hmm. what they never do. If I don't I don't know what the the squat total is like 900 or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, like, like eight, the world record. Yeah, or something. the world record. Yeah, I don't. But what they never add in is like the guy that did it's like 400 pounds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it was really uh-huh. he's just. Yeah, really like thirteen hundred. Yeah, <laughs> like the um, I think you talk about when they do like the the um inside like the wrestlers or anything. What the, the documentary on the wrestlers? Yeah, the one um, I I I get clips of them sometimes, and uh, the one was like with Mark Henry. Yeah, when he wanted to go do like the strongman competition yeah. or whatever, it's like that's impressive the amount of weight the man's moving. He's also four hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, which is I don't know if that's more impressive. Dude, when he did, because they used to do a celebrity dunk contest. Yeah. And then Mark Henry came out and fucking dunked a basketball. It was like, no, nah, I understand he's 6'8 or whatever, mm-hmm. but he's 400 some pounds. Yeah. At 6'8, you're not touching the rim standing there. You still mm-hmm. got to jump. And like, that was all. He, he just walked out and just dunked it one handed. Mm-hmm. And like, that's a fucking 10. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, it probably looked like a baseball in his hand. Yeah. But. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's it, it's in that's impressive as hell. But the his comment was he was he called up what's his dick the oh, I forget the yeah. guy's name and the guy's like I'll let you do it but there's no room in the WWE for the second strongest man. Yeah, and he was like oh <laughs> yeah yeah because yeah. I think that was a thing of like he was being billed as world's strongest man and he was catching shit from the strong yes, man community pro- yes. for saying that saying that and then he's like I right, just go prove it then yeah yeah. It was cool. I was like, I, cause that's before me. So, I mean, I don't, yeah. you know, I knew who Mark Henry was, yeah. but you know, I would not have guessed. Yeah. It's fucking wild. You look at a guy like that and what he's doing in the ring of like, yeah, Jesus Christ, you know, and, and not, it's weird to me that people that strong, that big, those guys are athletic. They just throw their bodies around like the way yeah. they do. That they were bad at other sports, right? You know what I mean? Like they were bad at other. Like Brock Lesnar was bad at football. Now he made he was a preseason guy. He made a team, yeah, with preseason. But you're but telling, he never played. But he never football. played football. Yeah, he was a good wrestler. And I mean, but you could like it, it's weird to me. It's just yeah. weird that that those didn't cross over at one point in time. <clears throat> well, that that's one of those things. Like if Brock Lesnar played. 
high school and college football. Oh, yeah. He probably would have been 10, 12 years in the yes. NFL. Yeah, 100%. But it's just weird. Like, that never crossed his mind. Yeah. Because I've listened to him talk about that. Of like, that eh, it's just wrestled and got in fights. Yeah. That was <laughs> how he grew up. It was on the wrestling team. And uh, when we wasn't practicing, we'd go fight people. Yeah. Like, mm, <laughs> okay. Who the hell wants to do that? Yeah. Who's the guy that he that's wanting to fight him? Dude. I'm a four-time state champion wrestler. Do you want to fight me? <laughs> him coming out, as big as he is, with the haircut he has with mm. that little fucking ponytail on, of like, <laughs> come on, man. I know. Like, what is that? I know. But you're not making fun of him. <laughs> it's almost like... Mer- Goro from Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's kind of, I yes. don't know if that might be what he he's, might going, be he's going, for, going for. Yeah, but it's like, what? Are, what are uh-huh. we doing here? Yeah. <laughs> Funny. I and I, I like the uh, the changes of like people like in like in the wrestling like when it first started to like what they look like now. I'm sorry, I don't believe Stone Cold was on steroids because he doesn't look any he, bigger yeah, he than he a, did then than what he does yeah. now. You know, like. Some of those guys, like you just, and then you look at like John Cena. All right. Yeah. The dude's on something. Well, it's like with Brock too. As soon as the UFC brought USADA in, he's, I'm going back to wrestling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. There's some of, like when people, yeah. When people do that, they're like, that guy, he's on steroids. It's like, why? Cause he's cut. He's 145 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if he takes a piss, his body shreds out. <laughs> I mean, like what do you, like the Undertaker is considered like one of the best wrestlers of all yeah. time. Doesn't look like he touched a weight. No, he just was a huge, just person. a big man. Yeah, just a huge individual, and a scary looking one at that. Yeah, just the funny like that the way that the that changes from, you know what I mean? Like when The Rock first started, he wasn't on anything. Yeah, you know, and then now look at him. Yeah, dude's forty five. He just <laughs> eats a lot of fish. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> And that he, fucking bothers I the shit out of me. I can't imagine. Now, I don't know if this is true, but you think he's that hard up for money that he had to go back to the WWE and be a heel? I I like the heel play. I do, too. I yeah. mean, I don't watch it. No, but, me either. I give but I like the being a bad guy. Uh-huh. I think, like with that Hawaii shit, yeah. like I think he got in enough shit and... He did so many fucking movies that it just, well, it's how it happened to me of like, hey, I'm fucking mm-hmm. sick of seeing this guy everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I think he had to go back to kind of like redo an image kind of, kind of thing, kind of reset. Yeah. Of. All yeah. right. You know. Yeah. I did no, 47 movies in two years. Uh huh. Yeah. And then. <laughs> yeah. He was because there wasn't one that he wasn't fucking in. Then me and an, me and another billionaire asked other people to donate money mm-hmm. of like, you can't do that. Yeah. Of like, that kind of yeah. pisses people off. Mm-hmm. So I, I feel like he felt that. Yeah. It was kind of turning on him. of uh-huh. like, all right, well you just go back there, reset the market. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you gotta be a bad guy. Uh-huh. I mean, that's yeah. Cause he's not a bad guy. Yeah. I mean, he's known for not yeah. if publicly not being a bad human being. <laughs> well then maybe you can come back and do some movies as the yeah, fucking bad, bad guy. guy. Yeah. That is one thing that he has not done. I mean, the only one where... And, he and it was w- CGI. Oh, the Black Adam guy? No, no, no. When he played the uh, Sc- uh, Scorpion King was the bad guy. Oh, yeah. Like the worst CGI ever when it was like, did somebody just draw this? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot he was in those original yeah. ones. Just I've, in the one. Yeah. Because yeah. I've only seen the Scorpion King. Oh, you haven't seen the other? No, the I first, never, The I've first only, one is fucking amazing. The very first mummy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's awesome. Is it? Like, the second one's, okay, the Scorpion King is fucking garbage. Well, yeah. Compared, I mean, to, the, the, compared, compared to the to other, other ones. ones. Oh, okay. Like, if you like the Scorpion King, uh, I'll like, oh, yeah. you're going to oh, okay. love. Yeah, I like the Scorpion yeah. King. Yeah. Like, compared to the, yeah, it's okay. It's the worst of the three by far. Oh, all right. That makes sense. The one with Tom Cruise wasn't good. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like the Fast and the Furious uh-huh. shit. Like, nothing compares to Tokyo Drift. Like, yeah. it's up... <laughs> It's the best. <laughs> and then the other ones just fall in place. <laughs> That's my favorite thing with people. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, it's amazing how many Fast and Furious fans you meet. Oh, like, my God. Like, it is shocking. Yeah. And every time I bring it, it's like, wow. Uh, Tokyo. If it ain't Tokyo Drift, I ain't watching. <laughs> I mean, come uh, on. Tokyo Drift. 
I oh man, that's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> I think I was so taken back by they did an interview when <clears throat> Oppenheimer came out and you know Christopher Nolan's in all these interviews or whatever, and I think he's on Colbert. Yeah, and he's talking about how like uh, he loves the Fast and Furious movies, <laughs> and I'm like this guy who makes yeah fantastic movies is a Fast and the Furious fan, and I get it. I love shitty action movies. It's just it's just there. Yeah, I, I mean I I love I watch every kind of low budget act. I mean I, that's all I watched as a kid. Like if a Steven Seagal movie was on TV, we watched it. You know what I mean? It just we watched bad <laughs> bad action yeah. movies. Like the second, the the Roadhouse remake. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, it's not awful. People, dude, I tell you what, I hate Conor McGregor. I loved him in that movie. He was such a he was a cartoon character. He was. He was. Where the fuck is everybody? His His like just the way he fucking turns. Yeah, of like the walk. Where the fuck is everybody? His walk is fucking hilarious. But like I obviously before I watched it, you know, start showing up on TikToks. I was like. This thing is fucking horseshit. Of like, first of all, I like the original Roadhouse. Fucking love it. Yeah. Let's not act like it was fucking oh. Goodfellas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, go back and watch it and realize, like, it ain't a great movie. No, it's just, but awesome. it's a good movie to watch. Yeah. I like watching yeah. it. Yeah. That line with you know he's got it. Patrick Swayze in that headlock. Uh-huh. He used to fuck guys <laughs> like you in prison. <laughs> that comes out of nowhere. <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> but then they there's like this movie's so fucking bad. Like, just watch the first one and then go to bed. Of like, no. It's the same fucking movie. It's the same thing. It's just in a different location. It's like, well, don't, no spoilers. It's like, it's not a continuation of the story. Yeah. It's just they switched of, like, he was a UFC fighter. Yeah. That's it. That's it. It's, it's the same, same fucking thing. story. Same thing. And he's, yeah, he's not a bouncer. Yeah. He just knows how to fight. Yeah. Yeah. I love the Post Malone in the yeah. opening scene. <laughs> Because he looks like a badass slopping yeah, around out I know. there. It, he, him getting these little like cameos and stuff, like the one with like, Spencer Confidential. Yeah. It's like, it's hilarious. Yeah, I fucking love that yeah. guy. The, now, I didn't need... The only thing that I didn't like was like the... Uh, I didn't need it CGI to make him look like they hit harder. Yeah, where it does that slow down yeah, kind of like... I didn't need that one. Your fight choreography is so good at this point. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. I mean... Yeah, because you could tell when McGregor and... Gyllenhaal were fighting at some times that they were actually, yeah, you know, fight Corey. I mean, they were doing things that with each other yeah. there, you know. I did, I did like the interview with Gyllenhaal going. It was like before every scene, I'd just say, hey, remember you're not hitting me. And he's yeah. like, oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks, yeah. yeah. You're not going to punch me, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I, I liked it. I thought uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, I, it was entertaining. Uh-huh. I knew it was good. Yeah. It's I, exactly what I thought it was going to be. 100%. Yeah. I loved, I think my favorite premise of the whole movie was everybody hated fucking Conor McGregor. Yeah. Like the rich bag, he's like, gee, he comes up on the boat, he's like, this fucking guy, what the fuck is he doing here? I got something here. Yeah. From your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, and doing that, his billionaire walk yeah. thing of like. And then, he, I don't know if it's like a, if it's supposed to be like a funny thing. The fact that he can't fucking drive. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. <laughs> no, he just crashes just like, into everything. Who parked his motorcycles <laughs> in my way? He's like, well, nobody even knows who you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. The, the, um, I guess the, in, in the original one, it's not supposed to have like funny undertones. Yeah. But this one has it. Yeah. Like when he, when like Jalen Hall's like, is there a hospital nearby? Cause like, I mean, how far? And then he's like trying to, he goes, I need a car. I got to drive these guys to the hospital. Yeah. That, and I did, it's kind of nice cause some old clips of, yeah. are showing up. Uh-huh. The one I, when he first comes in, the, the original, uh-huh. he's talking about being nice, be nice, be yeah. nice. And that guy's like, what if they call my mom a whore? Yeah. And he's like, is she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is. Yeah. The the one that I laughed at, and I, it's not supposed to be funny, is when the dude gets fucking eaten by the croc. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, oh. I knew at some point in time we would at least see the there, crocodile. There's a, yeah, because there's, there's a reason it, reason it had been mentioned a yes, couple times. I'm like, we're going to at least see it. I did not think he was yeah. going to eat the fucker. <laughs> the, only, the only thing they missed on was the hot chick. She yeah. She had been hotter. But 
there was no Sam Elliott character. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. I, I thought, honestly, as this is going of like, oh, he's going to call Post Malone and have him come down. Mm. Thinking, yeah. Like, Thinking, yeah. You got to have that. I need a buddy. Mm -hmm. Or, you know. Yeah. I, I thought just for some, I guess, tribute, like Sam Elliott would just be like drinking at the bar one time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like, yeah. you know. Just something of that, not even like playing his character, just being a random person there. Yeah. And there's one, I mean, obviously spoilers everywhere, but it's, you know, yeah, it's, the one that bothered the fuck out of me is the, the clear out fight that happened. Uh, like everybody in the bar is fighting. Everything's broken. Everybody's outside bar is empty. Everybody's fighting outside band still playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that decision stop. was like, you're not, you're, not you're gonna just going to keep, keep going. going. Like, there's nobody in here. <laughs> nope. Like, fucking cops are outside. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, you just, just yeah. playing. Well, we just, you know, well, when the music, we feel it. You pay me. Yeah. I'm going to fucking <laughs> pay me for three hours. I'm here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I I have no issues with it. It's, uh, I mean, it, like, people just. Yeah, they think it's going to, like, it's a, it's a bad action movie. What do you want from have, it? I. It, it's one of those, like when they do remakes and stuff like that. Obviously, like when RoboCop get remade, it's like go back and watch RoboCop. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, it's, it was good. You know, at that time, stop acting like these. They're Oscar winning fucking movies. Yeah, and it's not yeah. that. Yeah, like if when they rem if they ever remake Shawshank and it sucks, then be mad. Yeah, because that was a fantastic. Yeah. It doesn't need to be remade. Yeah, they start redoing like fucking Back to the Future. Shit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's something else. But when you're talking like. B grade action movies, like get over yourself, man. They're just making. I mean, it's what you're gonna get because shit's releasing on streaming services. Yeah, they're but trying yeah. to pump out some movies that people will just watch. Yeah, but the, like, I wonder if it was written in or if, if like Connor's like, yeah, I'll be naked. Yeah, because yeah. it was like the first yeah. opening scene. Yeah, it just. <laughs> yeah. burns and I like how his thing is that he sets everything on fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> burns it down. You're just trying to get some clothes. I mean, yeah. The guy just goes, "What? What?" Yeah. <laughs> just, okay. My clothes. The, the only other thing is like acting like that <laughs> like the locals. But yeah. like acting like it was a fucking huge city of like, well, yeah. it's on a it's on one of the keys. Yeah. Like they're not, There's not big. No. No, like, not at all. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who are you? Why is there so much corruption? How do they know my name? <laughs> well, it's, there's six people here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dalton. And you're the only one that isn't that doesn't look like they're from here. Yeah. I thought obviously that they were gonna do the pain don't hurt. Yeah. Because they got to that scene, uh -huh. but then they didn't. No, do they it. didn't do it. They did. Nobody wins in a fight. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted the the chick to be, I guess, hotter. Yeah, because Kelly Lynch at that point in time, yeah, was smoking hot. Yeah, smoking hot. The fact that you know her name, you know how much I like Roadhouse. I understand that. Yeah, no, I like a lot of movies. I don't know their names. Oh, I know their names. I, that's my Rain Man. I know actors. I haven't I haven't watched the preview for it, but I assume you probably have. Or if not, it's a movie for you. I'll, yeah. and I'll watch it too. Mm -hmm. It's a slasher movie. Okay. From the perspective of the killer. Yeah, saw it. Yeah, it looks cool. Like, I was yeah. like, how come nobody has done, done that, that before? Yeah, I know. It looks cool. Because like, I know it was like the beginning of like the guy in the trees or whatever cuts on it and he puts the mask that's on. Gone. Like, oh, you're not with the fucking idiot teenagers. You're uh, with the guy that's got the fucking knife just fucking yeah. whacking people. Yeah. It'll be interesting because... It's almost to, like a blueprint. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, I feel like that's going to be the backlash to it. Oh, like they're showing people. I don't think you need to show people how to kill people. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I feel like. That's what people are going to be like. Oh. You're showing people how to, how to stalk and murder yeah. people. You know, it's like, well, like there've been horror movies. Since yeah. The it's every documentary out there is telling yes, you how to everybody did everything. Exactly. I mean, uh, it takes a certain type of person. Certain, like, <laughs> yeah. And if you're that type of person, I feel I feel like you're gonna figure it out. Yeah, I feel like you're not watching the movie for pointers. <laughs> yeah. I never thought about yeah. using a machete. <laughs> I was just using this knife. It's a butter knife. Yeah. <laughs> it really stings.
No, yeah, I've seen it. Um, I saw one preview, which you'll watch because I, it's our kind of movie. Um, it's a AA group, like a halfway house thing. Like okay. after you go to AA, well, the house people who live there to try to get clean or whatever. Yeah, and the house is like foreclosing. Oh, is this the? Uh, it's got it's like got Bobby Theo Lee, Vaughn, Theo and, Vaughn yeah. and they have to like win a softball tournament. Yeah, trying so, to raise yeah, money to, to, raise to pay money. for the I'm house. Like, it's going to be funny, and then there's going to be some sad Let's parts, and it's going to be funny. Is it again. Johnny Knoxville? Yes, Ooh, it is yeah. Johnny Knoxville. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw the yeah, pre- I saw I'm the like, preview for that. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch I that 100 percent because it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I didn't. Uh... Oh, and I did. I watched uh, paint. Which is Owen Wilson, okay? Where he's basically Bob Ross, got oh, like the fro. And the, yeah, I'm yeah. like, this has a good. It's not. It's not good. Like it should have been so funny, mm. and then it's just like, huh. yeah, like you're kind of just following this guy's life that all he has is painting. Yeah, like it's meant to be a, like a comedy drama kind mm-hmm. of, and there's some funny spots in it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Not this as should have been way funnier, fucking hilarious, drama filled kind yeah. of thing. The uh, the one, <clears throat> um, now there's been a bunch of ones like that where you feel like it should be funnier than what it is. It ends up being more, I guess, on the drama side of it. Yeah. Um, but the one I I, I fit. Do you have Netflix again or do not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I watched the gentleman. Oh, the, the TV, series? Yeah, the series. It's good. It yeah. really is good. It's it's totally uh, the guy's style. Is, yeah. it, you know what I mean? Where it's a piece here, piece here, piece yeah. here, and then it comes together. It's just a tad slower because it's a TV show, it's not a movie. Shows yes, because it's yeah. eight episodes. That's the biggest, like... Just drag. There's two. There's probably like two episodes, two or three episodes that are like... Okay, I need yeah. something else. I need the revolving door here. Give me something. In it. But, I mean, it comes together at the end like a normal Guy Ritchie thing, and it's fantastic. I, I did enjoy it. I just wanted a little bit faster. Yeah. A little bit faster. Because it's, it's, the, it's the main character <laughs> trying to figure it out. Yeah. And... Like, and then he just gets like a bunch of shit thrown at him. So then it's figuring out everything and all these moving parts. And it's just a lot of moving parts in a movie. It happens faster. Right. You, only, you know what I mean? It's uh, two hours or whatever, but yeah, it, 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 it's good. It yeah. just takes a little bit. Well, I watched one on Netflix. I almost texted you cause I think it'd be like a, you and the wife think the watch mm. the it, documentary wise though. Uh, I didn't know if you guys were into. Yeah. We watch documentaries. Yeah. I think it's called. It's like lover, stalker, murder. Okay. Is fucking wild. Oh, all right. Fucking wild. Okay. Lover, like, stalker, murder. Okay. Yeah, it's something like that. It's uh-huh. it's like those three words, words. I can't remember. Okay. And I, I got turned on onto it by the McAfee show because uh. it takes place in Wisconsin. Uh huh. In like one of the person's computer, they pulled a bunch of pictures and stuff off. And one of the pictures you can see it like yeah, obviously somebody paused it so you could see the pictures that they had and one of them was aj hawk oh shit like in his packers yeah so it's like i guess like man eh, i'll give that a watch yeah <laughs> it's fucking wild okay i'll check it out but, yeah yeah it's one of those di- of like as it because they tell a linear story mm-hmm. and like you go what the fuck yeah i mean yeah it's awesome all right love her and i guess around. weird saying awesome because it yeah, like cause fucking happened, happened to people yeah. so <laughs> but it's like like, it's wild as shit. You, yeah, that's, it's like a movie. Okay, I mean it's a documentary that's like a movie. More like, wild than that hidden in plain sight. <coughs> the dude talks to the other guy and jerking him off in the car. Uh, oh, we're oh kinda really? okay all right kind of doesn't have a, a jerk, jerk off, off moment okay but it's like it's it, that it's wild a, of a like holy shit this like, is yeah, actually what happening the, oh my god okay all right. Uh, yeah, that's a that's that was fucking wild. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah, and I I did the did it. I did the worst thing yeah. I could have ever done. <laughs> like you just had a guy in your in your car talking into jerking him off. You are an idiot. And he kidnapped your daughter, daughter like nine times. And you did it anyway. And then your wife banged him. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean that. I mean that guy could run a country. <laughs> How did that guy not become a leader? No shit. You talked a guy into oh. jerking you off, then you fucked his wife, oh. and they kept letting you kidnap their, their daughter. daughter. Should have been a salesman. God, that was. I remember, it's I one just, of the. It's one of the most wild documentaries. Watching that thing going, because with that whole lead up, it's like, where's yeah. this going? Oh. Is this this is going? Oh my god! Oh my yeah! <laughs> well, you know how. Guys just get pent up and they need to relieve themselves. Yeah. Maybe have somebody relieve them. Yeah. What? <laughs> Could you do it for me? Uh, you just jerk yourself off? <laughs> yeah. Kind of handle that yourself. Yeah. Okay. okay. Did you do something with like the guy at the church too? Yeah. You get the guy, the you get fucking the priest, priest, or priest to do something, something too. Something yeah. So like, he had some like cloud over yeah. him yeah it's like you're just getting leverage over yeah. of like if you tell people i kidnapped this girl i'll tell people that you jerk me off yeah you can have her yeah take her <laughs> take her <laughs> it's not my daughter <laughs> oh my god and then after like the third one of like yeah she's just gonna go spend the summer with him i'm like what are you, they're gonna move what are you talking about she's like not- two states away yeah oh man i forgot that, about no, that, that one was, that's, that's fucking- one of the that's probably one of the most insane documentaries i've ever watched yeah 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 this one's because it's those, fucking up those there those parents should have been arrested just oh as God. much as fucking that dude was yeah th- this one's up there like yeah. it gets i mean it's i yeah definitely watch it now. It's, it's fucking wild yeah <laughs> can't wait till you watch it yeah i'm, and I'm then excited the text and go, now. what the fuck what the fuck it's gonna be good yeah, it's super awesome. As I was catching up on some Netflix stuff, and then <clears throat> I'm out of shot. I hadn't started the gentleman yet because, like, I need my life to calm down a little yeah, bit yeah. before I lock into yeah. that. So I just started watching. Like, I'd never seen Community before. Oh, is that any funny? It's funny. I've heard it's funny. Like, but-, but after the, like the second season or whatever, I kind of gave up on it. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, but it was funny. I've heard it was funny. I never watched it. It never yeah. really it, it's popped not out one at me. that's like hey, you gotta watch it. it's yeah, it's not. It's like, hey, yeah. if you wanna have something on in the background while you fuck around on your phone, you'll yeah. you'll hear you'll some funny stuff, stuff happen. Yeah. I uh <coughs> I watched the second season at full swing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that. Um I, I liked it. I do. I mean that stuff to me, I just I, I like that kind of stuff. I didn't need I, I wanted in my mind, I wanted the exact same thing from season one, but with like eight new golfers. Yeah. And that was, I think, the one thing that I I wanted different people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I didn't need, like, if you're going to show me the the Asian dude, yeah, show me more of him. Give me a whole story. Just don't show me snippets of yeah. how he could be good. I mean, I know he's young, but like, give me a whole episode of... How he did it, how he came yeah. up that I, cause I don't, that's the first time I ever heard of the guy's name. Yeah. And then I didn't need Matt plays Patrick's brother. I no. No, I mean, it, it just, I didn't need it. Matt I, Fitzpatrick's not a big enough guy to no. be doing stuff on his exactly. brother. And I like Matt Fitzpatrick, yeah. but it's just, I didn't need that one. My favorite episodes were with the Ryder cup. I loved those ones. That was great. That was awesome. No, I just, the to kind of get that sense of how seriously they all take it. Yeah. I mean, in both sides, the, yeah. the European and the American side of it. And, and you don't real I, that would have never crossed my mind of how like meaningful it, what it is to them. And that, it, well, and it brought me back to, for, cause I, you know, mm-hmm. once it's over, you kind of forget. Yeah. Forgetting the complete fucking ass stomping. Oh, that, that it was. Oh yeah. Of like, Oh yeah, yeah that's right. It uh-huh. was over after day one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's like when nobody won, it's, <laughs> solidified and i've been very open about this like i hate fucking hate rory mcelroy yeah yeah in here and he does nothing to change that of like he is a fucking douchebag he is and then like dude they are so fucking all the golfers are like so pompous and arrogant Mm -hmm. like when they do have the asian kid yeah and he's doing his thing and the one guy's like you know, it's how he dresses and wants to celebrate. I mean, it's not my style. But yeah. Of like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Like, where he, Who like, the fuck are you? I mean, yeah. Like, where he got in, like, the river or yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's like, it's like, a shit. Yeah. And you, like, you're acting like <sighs> he's giving golf a bad name. Yeah. Of like, yeah, dude, you're a fucking douchebag. Fuck, fuck yeah. you. 
Yeah. Sorry, he doesn't wear skin tight clothes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ask I don't. I don't even remember who said it. Obviously, Rory. Was it Rory? Yeah. Yeah. But then, there, like, there were some other guys too that yeah. said some shit. It was like, yeah, like who the I fuck? think Spieth said something like, too. Who the fuck or, yeah. are you? Yeah. I mean, he does his own thing out there. It's like, what did yeah. you? What did you do wrong? Yeah. What did you so wrong? Guys having a good time. Yeah. Time of his life. Yeah. <laughs> this is he's he's I mean, 21, yeah. 22. I don't. Well, the one it was him. The year before when it was in Vegas, he couldn't go out to the casinos. Yeah, he wasn't old enough. Wasn't old enough yet. Yeah. It's like, okay, yeah, he's fucking 21 years old. Yeah, just let him, he's fine. But the way they talked, it was like. Yeah. That he was like trying to disgrace the sport. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no, he's doing fine. Let him go. And I, I just hate that. Like they, they put these, like Rory, mm-hmm. and like they treat him like he's yeah. fucking Tiger or Phil. Mm-hmm. Of like, buddy, you. You not want anything compared to those you've guys. You've done nothing. You're like. Yeah. You're basically roughly have close to the stat line of VJ Singh. Yeah. And nobody yeah. fucking talks about that guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you've got one more major. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean. hmm Yeah, it just, but they act like. Yeah, he's just God. And they get so involved, the whole live thing, whatever, uh-huh. is they don't under, they don't understand how other sports act. Yeah. Of the, hey, stay out of people's checkbooks. It's mm-hmm. none of your fucking business. Yep. Somebody makes this. That's their business. They're yep. making a decision for their family mm-hmm. of like, you know, I get in arguments with people about that, about the John Rom thing. He's like, it's $500 million. Well, how much do you need? Uh, at least 500 million. Yeah. Fuck you. And was, I, I wouldn't, you know, the PGA, you got to keep the integrity of the game of like, you're a fucking lie. If I put a million dollars on the table, you're you would take it. it. 100%. And then last year, all of the live guys competed <coughs> with the PGA guys. Yeah. Because they're fucking professionals. Yeah. The only reason that Rory didn't go is because he has no major exemptions. Yeah. He can't play in the Masters. Mm-mm. Like, he, he'll, he'd he qualify the first year off of world rankings. And, and then as soon as he dropped out yeah. of, like, he, if soon as, if this is still a thing where they're paying guys like Soon as Rory wins a major mm-hmm. and gets five years to all of them, yeah, he's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like 100%. that's the only reason you'll yeah. never because you haven't won the Masters, so you can't play in that. Mm-hmm. Everybody that took the money had exemptions into the majors. Yeah, exactly. That's why they did. That's it. why they did it. And if they if they went and they didn't do it, it's because it was guaranteed money. Yeah, I didn't have to score. Yeah, in the top sixty or top whatever the cut is to make my money that day. Yeah. No, I. I yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that, and like, I just yeah. Well, like the whole with like Kepka when they're talking to him, it seemed like he joined Live for guaranteed money and to get healthy. Yeah, yeah, because he didn't know if he could ever he could win know, again. Yeah, exactly. And then he got healthy, and it's like, oh yeah, he's still pretty he's still pretty good, good, pretty good golfer. Yeah, but yeah, I hate that shit. Of like, mm-hmm. all right, let's not act like the money you're fucking taking. Yeah, exactly. Your fucking Exxon Mobil money, because that's not yeah. based on Saudi oil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, what the fuck are we uh, talking about? Exactly. Now the, the the arrogance of it all, thinking that you're better because it's more pure. Yeah, is that I mean, is that what we're going with now? Yeah. Well, and that's the other thing too. Of like, hey, they up the uh, the PIF money, mm-hmm. which is like all you did was up it, and yeah, you know who wins first place every year and gets the thirty million dollars? Fucking Tiger Woods. Yeah, he didn't even play. <laughs> uh, and I get, I'm getting tired of that motherfucker. Yeah, it's always like, well, we got to talk to. T-. It's like who the what what yeah he he won in 2019 then he got hurt again uh huh and then he got in that wreck yeah like he's can't, not he, a part of the tour no he can't walk why the fuck is he making decisions yeah and then the dick writers that you got and I like Tiger mm-hmm. but like I'm pretty realistic like he ain't ever winning again no and I you know talk to people that are convinced yeah. of like he hadn't finished a tournament yet no he can't do some courses <laughs> because it's too much walking yeah. It's too much up and down. Can't He's do it. yet to play a weekend. Yeah. The year after he came back, before he got in the wreck, and he did that little slide down the hill, I thought, oh, he just hurt it's himself over. again. Yeah. yeah. like yeah. And then he didn't do Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. He's not winning again, guys. He's not. No. He's done. His body is done. Yeah. Sorry. It is what it is. It happens. Yeah. He had he his was, time. Yeah. yeah. He, he did some shit. <laughs> yeah. Go down one of the Sorry. greatest ever. I mean, it, it is crazy though. Like, um, the 
the amount of like just records that he has though. Yeah. Like uh the one stat was Scotty would have to be like world number one for like ten straight years to come oh, up with the yeah, same it's... to come up with the same amount of time that he spent yeah. world like that's just insane. Insane. Yeah. That ten year stretch was mm. Uh, unreal. Uh, it's, it's you can't i mean now there's not another replica of that but that's yeah because that's the other thing of like all of this now he won some tournaments and he won the masters in 2019 i think so 18 or 19 whatever it was but like people think of like yeah he'd just been no no that was his first major since 2008 yeah now he'd won a couple yeah tournaments mm-hmm. but like He's the other one that started ruining it because he only gave a fuck about majors. Yeah. He didn't give a fuck about your regular. <laughs> yeah. You know, he didn't care yeah. about winning Muirfield. Mm-mm. It meant so nothing. you're the one that said the tour wasn't worth a fuck. You didn't. There's 32 tour events in a year. You played fucking 14 of them. Yeah. You paid enough. You played in just enough. He, not well, even he that. Doesn't have, yeah. He was lifetime exempt. Yeah, he didn't have right. to. And that's 14 and in, including the majors. So yeah. Tour events. You only played in 10. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, let's not act like you're some, mm-hmm. yeah, some good replica. Yeah. yeah. And the only reason he didn't go to live is because he doesn't know if he could play golf. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even walk. He's like, well, Tiger didn't go. Well, he's also a billionaire. Yeah. For the second time. Yeah, exactly. I mean. Yeah. And I feel bad for his fucking kid. Like when yeah. he missed the cut or whatever. And they were like, oh, I can't. Believe- he's 11 or 12 or 15. 14. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Maybe just let him be him. Well, I can't believe he didn't fucking make the cut and win this fucking event. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see anybody bashing what are you talking about? Jordan's kids for sucking. Yeah. They got a lot. Did they? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. It's a little bit before I can remember things. Well, because it was always, well, because there was a massive thing with one of them getting, going to college and switching college, but the college they went to was an Adidas school. So there's this uh, big fucking controversy. I mean, it was. Yeah, it was a thing. There was, there was a thing. What was it? No. <clears throat> But it was never. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I don't understand why their kids aren't like that. It's like, well, these guys came from nothing. This kid came from a fucking mansion. They don't have the same drive. No, I already have everything. Yeah. What do I need anything more? I like golf. I like to play yeah. golf. I don't really care if I'm good at it. <laughs> That's one of those, like with the Conor McGregor thing is like, hey, it's tough to have a job when you're waking up in silk sheets to go get punched in the face. Yeah. Like that fire mm-hmm. is a little different. Yeah. Well, that's what I think Dana White even said. That. He's like, well, what's up with Connor? He's a millionaire. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to do this. Yeah. He's, he's good. He's yeah. good to go. When he was, he was just coming off of food stamps when yes. like he was doing this uh-huh. shit. Yeah. He's fine. He's made his money. It's good. Fun stuff. Sports. I mean, you knew when he punched that 70 year old guy and that guy just sat there and fucking took it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he just ain't got it anymore, pal. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That was fucking great. I don't want your fucking whiskey. Yeah. Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) Took one of the chest. I will say this. Mm Mm-hmm. Being a sports show. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. But billed as a sports show. Buddy, I have not watched one basket. Really? Of the tournament. I know. You don't like it. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that, well, first off, you know, putting the main teams that you'd want to watch at like nine and 10 o'clock, go yeah. fuck yourself. Yeah. Like yeah. Duke tips off at 940, 940, 945 yeah. last night. Like, yeah. Who, who's that for? Yeah. Now, I grant I understand it's going into a Saturday. That's yeah. fine. I mean, mm-hmm. I had to work, but yeah. But like the Thursday night game, yeah. 10 16. Yeah, exactly. What do we, yeah, just because it's good Friday the next day doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's for like I watched them because I didn't have to work yesterday, which is and, weird. Like you get a day off just because Jesus died. <laughs> well, he hadn't died yet. Yeah, he did. That's what Good oh, Friday. Right. Yeah, Good Friday. My bad. I forgot. It was <laughs> good that he died. <laughs> That's what it was. I know. I know what it was. I, yeah, yeah, and we're gonna get basketball when he rises too. So yeah, yeah. The date. Congratulations <laughs> tomorrow, Jesus, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I was listening to you know, like dad jokes and stuff, which mm-hmm. I fucking love. Yeah. But it was Easter based. Mm-hmm. It was. Do you know why the Easter, bu- Easter bunny hides eggs? 
And he's like, you know, he fucks chickens. Yeah. Right? yeah. That was, like, <laughs> that was great. Uh, that made me yeah. giggle. Of oh, like, yeah. that's fucking perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I liked it. Yeah. Why does these, but I just want people to know he fucks chickens. <laughs> I always, I've, that's one thing I've never researched, not, not chicken fucking. I've researched a shit yeah. out of that. But, uh, where the bunny came where from? Where the bunny came from. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. you know. Oh, Jesus died for our sins. Here's a rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Got that one at all. Well, yeah. yeah. It's like a family guy thing. I'm like, it was when Jesus died in that helicopter crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's funny. We're just, things come from and yeah. where you know originates and because that one's like you get like the santa claus thing of like the fat a, white guy that yeah. breaks into everybody's house <laughs> <I'm> drunk <laughs> <laughs> fucking eat your cookies shits yeah. in your toilet <laughs> that's the present <laughs> yeah but like yeah the bunny thing is yeah, always like i never got the rabbit now, thing. granted i mean it's a great thing because that bunny hiding eggs because he's a chicken fucker yeah <laughs> Made the best. I mean, the Reese egg oh, God. is the best Reese. Oh man, it's so by good. far. It's so good, and even, and I don't even know why. But I mean, I do know why. It's less chocolate, more peanut more, butter. Yeah. But it still, for some reason, the egg tastes better than the tree. Yeah, and, and it's the, the same the thing. Same they just thing. cut some wedges out of it. Yeah, but the egg tastes way yeah. better than the tree. And I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know what it is. And I tell you what, I I'm not a jelly beans fan, but the Starburst jelly beans may be one of the best things i've ever had yeah. I, i'm a big starburst fan anyway yeah i've been on the starburst kick and then for a couple weeks them in the jelly beans <sighs> yeah the jelly bean thing i'm not i've never oh, been then, into to me it's like it's easter's version of candy corn yeah and i don't like candy corn and i hate fucking puffs or marshmallow peeps oh, or whatever pe- yeah. Ugh, those suck ass not a big marshmallow candy no guy. and i don't want it coated in nasty sugar <laughs> yeah I and mean, i don't know why it has eyes I've been on a very gummy based candy. <laughs> been on a very gummy <laughs> based <laughs> diet. <laughs> Sour gummy flavored stuff. S- sound like my three year old. <laughs> Actually, I did buy some stuff at the store though, man. Yeah. Those, what do they call them? The, the dilly packs, the snack packs or the cut. Yeah. Di- yeah. Uh, they have hot ones. Uh huh. Not bad. Pretty fucking good, man. <laughs> good. Like just eating a bag of pickles. Yeah. I mean, it looks weird. Uh, yeah. But it's like, eh, you know? Yeah. I love how, you know, and they put all the health benefits of it. It's like, it's fucking, yeah, it's, it's awful. cucumber <laughs> fucking brined and fucking salt water. Exactly. I mean, like, what are we, yeah, what are we doing here? And they, they put some hot sauce in it. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, you don't act me. Don't make me feel <laughs> like I'm doing like my I'm body service. Doing something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't have a cramp. I don't need the pickle juice. Yeah. But it's, it's better than a Reese. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, guess it is. Uh, the gummy thing. Yeah. My, my, uh, my son now relates gas stations to gummy worms. Oh, okay. A like coffee, the neons. A coffee and Diet Pepsi. Yeah. Every, and it, it, I, I could just need gas. I, are you getting gummy worms? Are you getting mom coffee? Are you getting a, are you getting a Diet Pepsi? It's like, yeah. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 100%. 100%. Everybody gets that. Yeah. And then the little one. You want a coffee? Yeah. Okay. No. Cool. <laughs> There's nothing like uh, doing some grocery shopping as an adult and walking down the candy aisle. <laughs> These are for my kids. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it's like that uh, the second or the third crocodile Dundee. Yeah. Where they're, he's going through the drive through and he's like, oh, somebody else joined us. Just, Let yeah. us get another <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, that's, I remember, yeah, going through the drive-thru and getting just a boatload of food and being like, it's not all for me. <laughs> yeah. There's somebody, they're sleeping in the back. Yeah. It's not just me in this not vehicle. Just me. <laughs> I'm also not going to eat in this vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> getting drive through to take home. Dude, I don't eat in, I don't eat drive through in the vehicle. I hate it. Nah, I get to take home. Yeah. I hate, I mean, I think Molly prefers meals in the car because it seems like that. <laughs> I mean, she just. Like she can't, if we, like, uh, there for a while, when we first moved into the house, just us, we did our grocery shopping, typically we do it on Sundays anyway. Yeah. But we would always swing by QP when it was open afterwards and get lunch. And we would get it, go in and get it, get to the car. I would put it in reverse and she's fumbling through the bag. I'm like, we live 
two minutes from this Cupy. Just wait till we get home. Okay. I was like, yeah. Yeah, what, what, what? just wait, wait. We can actually sit down and enjoy it. Yeah. We don't have to just that is, scarf it down. Like, that is such a thing, though. Ugh. Is to go grocery shopping and then get then something get to eat, eat on the way oh, home. Oh, yeah. Let me order a pizza. Oh, <laughs> man. The amount of times now that the, the older the older child knows restaurants. Yeah. And we end our shopping trip at Sam's Club. So we get to the parking lot. We buckle in and he's like, we going to Wings and Rings? I'm like, I guess we are. <laughs> we got anything that's going <laughs> to... We got anything that's going to spoil? When you make decisions in the store of yeah. like, well, I can't get this ice cream because... <laughs> I want to go to lunch afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every single time. It's like, no, dude, we can't eat there every time we grocery shop. Aw. I'm sad too, but... <laughs> yeah. It's not like I don't want to. I just can't. Just decisions have to be made. Yeah. I got to be an adult today. All right. Yeah, the kid loves Texas Roadhouse. Won't eat it. He just, like I don't know if he likes the atmosphere. There. Yeah, I don't know if he likes the atmosphere. <laughs> I like the ambiance of Texas like, Roadhouse. Steak's a little too chewy for him. He's three. Yeah. You know what I mean. He he gets <coughs> he eats their chili. <coughs> That's what he loves. Okay. Yeah. So he'll eat, but they we tell the waitress, hey, bring just bring the chili out when the rest of the meal comes. You know, and then like he'll eat some like fries or something and whatever, but. She'll bring the chili out, like, because it comes before, like, yeah. the entree or whatever. And then he eats the chili, and then we get our food. He's like, where's mine? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I get it. You don't get it, but I understand where your mind is. Have some peanuts. Yeah, have a roll. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I haven't been to Texas Roadhouse. I hate and- it. I hate it. I, I hate it. It's not no. good. It doesn't taste good. I, I'd rather cook my own steak. Yeah. You know, that's, it's either over, way over, because I'm not. I'm not like a, I, I mean, I'm not like raw, but I'm not, you know, cooked till you can't eat right. leather, but it's never the way that I like it. And I don't ask to take it back because I know they're going to rub their nuts on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like one, the one, the one I had, I was like, did they just dump salt on it? No. They didn't just like spray. Like it was like, oh my God, it just tastes nasty. So I uh, I revert back to a childlike state, and I just get chicken fingers if we go. Yeah, yeah. get chicken fingers. <laughs> chicken finger basket. Yeah. My wife's like, I'll take a twelve ounce ribeye. I was like, yeah, I'm a bitch. <laughs> yeah. What you guys have yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have grilled cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a hot dog off the kids menu. Yeah, <laughs> sir, that's for children. It's my he'll eat it. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, I, like the last time I went there, because like I like a baked potato. Mm-hmm. Load that bitch up, yeah, you know? Yeah, man. But like the last time I was there, it was like, hey, you know, steak and mm-hmm. baked potato. Uh, we're out of potatoes. Yeah. It's like, yeah. that's your... Well, that's your thing. Like, yeah. th- that's it. I've also, like, two plays of them doing that and, like, went through Burger King and they were out of meat. Okay. One time. They only had like fish, <laughs> yeah, and chicken in that vegan it like, burger. <laughs> it's like, what do you, what do you mean you're out of? You're a burger, burger king, plate and you're out of burgers. You're out of meat, yeah. We don't have any meat. Not, and I went through Wendy's once, and they didn't have any chili. Oh, like, yeah, we're out of chili. You like, just make it. The, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's a fucking store right there. <laughs> yeah, just go make the chili. You have the meat. Yeah, <laughs> you just don't have any chili stuff. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what she said. We haven't been able to get our chili stuff. <laughs> We can't go buy beans at the store. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So your fucking plastic bag that you just. Yeah. Just dump it in. All right. It's tough finding a good chili, man. It is. It is because I hate, I can't eat my wife's chili. It sucks. It's so soupy. And yeah, yeah I don't like the soupy runny ones. I like a nice hearty thick chili. When that's like my, I like, I love my chili. I'm the mm-hmm. best at it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> everybody says that. <laughs> But uh, you have to eat it for like five straight days. I yeah. mean, because you can only you, can't you have to cook. make. Yes, you can't. They only cook. sell them in certain sizes <laughs> yeah. of the product that you need. Of like, yeah. All right, now I'm eating on this for a while. My my grandma was the worst of that when she made chili. She didn't put it in a crock pot. She put it in a fucking roaster. Oh. And then she was like, "Well, we'll just freeze it and eat it later." Dude, when I left, when I moved out of that place, their outside garage freezer. Only had chili in it <laughs> from where she just was like, well, we'll freeze it and eat it later. I was like, 
You've yeah. never eat. I've lived here for five years. I've never seen you heat up that frozen bowl of chili. Yeah. You're lying to yourself. Quit making so fucking much. There's three of us. Yeah. <laughs> I figured we need five gallons. Yeah, exactly. Like, Take it to a home. <laughs> well, this is my, my grandmother because she made her own like tomato juice and mm-hmm. everything like that canned. Yeah. But like she'd get the jar of tomato juice out and she'd dump it in and then she'd cut it with water of like, uh. hey, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, this is like, this is just running off the spoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no. I don't like the I don't like the soupy. And the amount of people that I have ran into now that don't understand the peanut butter sandwich, dude, I don't get it. It's essential. <clears throat> but then in Wisconsin, they they do do cinnamon rolls with chili. That's odd. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, you get a fucking cinnabon, yeah, and a bowl of chili, and then dip the cinnabon. I, I don't. No, that's disgusting. I don't know what you're doing. There's no way that's good. One when I eat when I eat chili. It's typically, as I'm impatient, I typically yeah. don't have taste buds after I'm finished eating right. it because I couldn't wait for it to cool down. Well, I, I like to dip all my sandwich in. Ah, yeah. Soak up. Which the I'm, a, I'm a weird fucking eater. Yeah. And I, I'm not saying picky yeah. because obviously. Like, yeah. <laughs> obviously I'm not. But I'm a, like I have orders of which uh-huh. I eat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like if I get a burger and fries, I eat all the fries and then okay. I eat the burger. All right. I get it. And then, like, yeah. if I have a peanut butter sandwich, I, mean, I eat all the sandwich mm-hmm. and then the chili. Okay. So you save your favorite for last then? Is that kind of the order? I don't know. Kind of the peanut butter dipped in the yeah, chili, chili is, is kind of my good. favorite yeah. part. <laughs> <laughs> I've had six peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> now it's just beans in here. <laughs> now who's eating a bowl of beans? <laughs> Homeless people. Yeah. yeah. Slinging on that. <laughs> that was a funny one. Just talking about homeless, because I guess they, they cut some trees and stuff down where the homeless encampment is over mm, here. Okay. And it, this is talking to my buddy, and he's like, he was going in somewhere, and like, the homeless guy was there. And I, I guess the guy said something, and he goes, that's pretty nice. And he goes, that's cold. He goes, that's a bit warm. He goes, I live in a fucking tent. <laughs> he's just like, okay. Okay, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like, I mean, Sounds like a you it could be fucking 20. Yeah, exactly. It's 50. Yeah. We're living a fucking tent. Where's your perspective? Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. all right. I don't. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry I stayed in a house. <laughs> it is funny, though. Like, like a homeless fucking community, and they just went in and cut all the fucking trees Jeez, down. <laughs> <laughs> My hammock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know where all the people on the other side of town live. This is several of them. Yeah. One guy's been floating around there for a decade. Yeah. Of like, how are you? I mean, mm-hmm. your coat's got worn holes in it. Yeah. And then I, the one that the you knew who coat. was that, I thought that she would have been hot. Yeah. That one, like walking around with, yeah. the, you know, like, you, how did you fail? Yeah. 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 I mean, you could make any money. Yeah. yeah you couldn't you could, figure it you out. You figure it out. Come on. Clean you up. Yeah. <laughs> Because that was like, <laughs> I, I think Chief was still open over uh, there at yeah. that. She always floated around that area. Mm-hmm. Like, how the fuck? Yeah. Because <laughs> it shocked the shit out of me. I'm yeah. like, what? It- like, your home? Yeah. I mean, I have a home. Yeah. <laughs> your shower. Your, your beer's not that long. Yeah. <laughs> your shower. You stink. <laughs> yeah. You were not nice. <laughs> you were not nice. <laughs> yeah, that one always <laughs> threw me off. But then there's the one guy that's just been. Yeah. Like, he's just a staple. Mm-hmm. Like, he's always smoking cigarettes. Crazy expensive. Crazy expensive. Always got a cup of coffee. Yeah. Always got, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. His jacket is like, he wears one of those long fucking cowboy jackets, but it's mostly worn off up mm-hmm. to his ass now. Yeah. It's, I don't know if it's just been <laughs> chewed on, but. <laughs> fucking wild dogs. <laughs> Packs of wild dogs are running most of the inner cities. <laughs> But he, yeah, he's always he by a pack of vicious <clears throat> wild dogs because it's, you know, he's always at like Ollie's on that bench mm-hmm. or is that Speedway? Yeah. Or if you go through Panera, you come through the drive through mm. when you pull up just past the window, there's like it's like the side of the building that it, there's like a small table with two chairs and he's sitting there. I'm like, well, that's a 
It's a different location. It's like, yeah, I don't know if they put it there for him because yeah. nobody would eat, eat there. there. No, it's like, yeah, all right. But he probably lives in that Motel Six right there. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he does, and just you know, ask for money. I mean, he's looked the exact same. Yes, maybe that's the Not secret. Working out. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't have he any stresses should, in his life. Shredded man. It doesn't have any stresses. It doesn't have any bills. <laughs> no bills. No bills. Yeah. That's no stress. Doesn't work. He has no stress. Uh, I got to get up for what? <laughs> the the one that I that's wanted a to see. Point. <laughs> that's, that's a great point. <laughs> I mean, the one that I wanted to see after it sets his alarm was the guy. <laughs> <laughs> he carries one of those big, one of those big square batteries. Yeah, sets so his can, alarm. So you can have an alarm. <laughs> start the <of> day. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> it's it's. <laughs> But in front of the old Kmart, the guy was sleeping on the sidewalk, mm. and the sun had obviously came up. Yeah, and half his face was in shadow; the other was direct oh, sunlight. God, I was like God, I want to see him, him. later. <laughs> it's just gonna be <laughs> fucking, fucking torch like, on half his face, like a two face. <laughs> but I never seen him again. Uh. Probably got ran off by the one guy. Hey, this is my territory, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. this is my curb, dude. I had to kind of shoot through town yesterday, and I'm on like. Not a main drag heading through town, like a side street. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy at a stop sign with a sign of like, yeah, we need help of like, dude, go to the main three blocks over. over. Yeah. There's like fucking two cars that come down the street. (laughs) I don't know what you're, maybe this is why you're fucking homeless. Yeah. You're not, you're not going to the good area. Capacity to think (laughs) is not good. (laughs) Like you're in a bad spot. Yeah. Why don't you go that way? You're never going to be an entrepreneur yeah. like this. <laughs> you got to find your niche market, yeah. man. <laughs> and it ain't here. It's not here. Look at the fucking house you're next to. Yeah. Think they're helping anybody? <laughs> they help themselves. They'll probably let you sleep on their floor. Maybe. Mm. She's at least going to yell at you. Yeah. <laughs> Get off my yard. Throw stuff at him. That was a little funny when I seen it. It was like just an old guy. Like rushing out of the front end of his house, mm-hmm. he's like, "Get the f off my yard!" And the camera, and it's a little kid carrying a big f, running, going, "Sorry." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like, that was a good one. The homeless one, the scary movie line that it's just kind of like underplayed is the very original scary movie, and the homeless guy comes up and goes. Can I can I ask for a dollar? And she goes, Oh, get away from me. You're gross. And she goes, He just wants a nice sandwich. And he goes, I sent a dollar, bitch, and throws yeah. the sandwich back at her. It's fantastic. That happens oh, a lot. I bet it does. <laughs> the one that gets me is it's usually obviously an older white. Where there's like they see him out there panhandling. Uh huh. They're like, Puh, they're making more money than we're making doing that. It's like he's he's probably got so much money. It's like that's not. That can't be true. That's not true. Can't be true. Because it's always like, yeah, I seen him candle out there, and then like he got up, walked around the building, got in a Mercedes. It's like that's no, not. No, he didn't. Like I understand. Like you don't like them. Yeah, I get it. But they're not. Nobody does. But let's not act like they're out there panhandling eighty grand a year. Yeah, I <laughs> mean, it all pocketed. Yeah, yeah. This guy lives in fucking <laughs> a mansion. <laughs> yeah. He was like, no, no, no. Mm-mm. I, I, I've yet to see a territorial fight, mm. you know, like on the other side of town at the five point, like there's always somebody there. Yeah. But it's never the same person of like, mm-hmm. who's, yeah. Who's my, is this? my corner bitch. Yeah. It's a good point. And that on the other side too, is like how many American flags did that guy sell? Yeah. Cause he's always out. Yeah. I've never seen anybody buy one. No, me either. But Not he tries. Once. He does try. He's always parked in the spot next at the gas station yeah. I like to park in. Yeah. I was like, hey. It's the only spot This is very here. inconvenient for <laughs> me that you're trying to make a living. <laughs> How dare you? There's only like three spots at this, spi- at this place, and you're taking Don't up two of them. next to the porn shop. They got plenty of parking <laughs> spots. I can't believe nobody's parking out front of the place that's on the busiest street in town. Let me get under the uh, porn shop here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make sure it's facing the road. <laughs> right by the veranda. That's where I was getting, I was getting a new phone. Yeah. <laughs> Walked in the wrong door. Phone and a dildo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got the iPhone 15 and a blow-up doll. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Look at these videos I'm yeah. going to make. This is like fucking masterpiece. Mm-hmm. My OF. <laughs> 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 
that was one too of like talking about like uh I think it was Tim Dillon. He's he goes his yes, rants are he, fucking yeah. crazy. They are crazy. And it was going off on because like every actress has to have their own luxury brand of house goods. Yeah. And he's like, because they don't make movies and shows anymore, so they don't have any work. And he goes, you got that girl from The Sopranos that's just selling her vag on OnlyFans. (laughs) (laughs) He goes, she can't get an acting job. Gotta be selling her vag. (laughs) It's true, she is. She's making a lot of money doing that. Yeah. But it's like, like everybody, every actress is just trying to get their own fucking sheet brand to sell in Target. <laughs> so they can't make any money anymore. Is it, yeah, people don't make yeah. movies. No. No. Mm-hmm. You worked hard to put Harvey away and now you ain't got no money. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> kidding. It's a joke. This is different doing this, and now that the sun's coming up and shining in because it's a little dark yeah. when we got in here. Usually it's like the it's opposite. The opposite. Yeah, it's, just, it's getting warmer uh-huh. as opposed to it's colder. colder. The sun's coming out. Like We're not in the dead middle of summer yet where we're just sweating our nuts off in here. <laughs> yeah. Starting at, what, 8.30? Yeah. 8 o'clock in the morning? Mm-hmm. That was, that was my question this morning. Obviously, I grabbed all my gear when I went to work. Mm-hmm. Like, it's right. I ain't going to be working yeah. long. I'm like, but I wonder what time he wakes up. Oh, I get What's going to be my... Because yeah. I'm going to be out of here by... I was gonna, well, I'm I gonna knew it was out. raining, and I was like... I had woke up like a dog. Like, I'll just text him. Because I was like, I'm, he's probably... I was like, he either didn't go in because yeah. of the rain, or he's just sitting in the shop right now. Yeah. So that was my thought. of like, what am I going to do down here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not driving back to the other side of town no. just to come back. That's no. a crazy talk. <laughs> Sit in my driveway. <laughs> yeah. I text back. <laughs> yeah. I'm huh? just... Uh, be here. Fall asleep. <laughs> So we had a guy that, uh, one of our tree worker guys, like he was waiting on some gas to be delivered for their grinder. Mm-hmm. And like, he was just off the cart path in a tr- and he fell asleep. Oh. I thought he was dead. Oh. The way he, he slumped over like every dead person in a movie. Yeah. No, no, no. Forward. Oh. Like head forward. almost hitting oh, the steering wheel. wheel? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like it was like. Dude, are you alive? Did you like knock <laughs> on the window? No. Oh. I mean, me I was doing stuff. <laughs> it was okay. he was okay. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. I just assume he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Yeah, he's fine. He's, he's, fine. he's tuckered out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I thought because we were working not far away. Uh, I just assumed that he went somewhere in the other truck. Uh huh. Of like, all right. And then drove by because I turned the irrigation system on. So I was kind of driving back and forth. And I drove by and I seen him slumped <laughs> over like that. And I'm like, huh. Check and I kept on. I was turning the pumps on. And as I drive back by and he hadn't moved mm-hmm. for like an hour. Oh. I mean, it was a long time. Uh-huh. Well, well, to put it in perspective, we were working there. Mm-hmm. And when I first came out, like we were working in this area for two hours before I even knew he was in there sleeping. Oh, like he slept for like three, three hours. hours. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, it was a drive. Mm. I guess, huh? Yeah. I wonder if he's okay. <laughs> and I just kept fuck going. <laughs> oh, that sounds about right. And then I came back and like the other two guys is like, man, I, he looks like he might be dead in there. Yeah. Is he sleeping? And they're like, oh yeah, he's probably sleeping. Yeah. And we just kept on, kept just kept on yeah, with our day. Sleeping. And then like, you know, after that, we seen this. Then the door opened mm-hmm. and like he stepped out and then got back in and like didn't shut the door all the way. Like he closed it, but it was still open mm-hmm. and was asleep again for a good 40 minutes again. That's of like got hot. Dude, how do you, <laughs> how do you sleep? Like, that, I, can't, that. I can't fall asleep when I go to sleep. Yeah. Let alone sleep sitting Just upright, lean forward. Lean, yeah. Head. Yeah. Like, lean the seat back. Yeah. It moves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Idiot. That's funny though. But yeah, that's, yeah, he's that, okay. that's me of like, yeah, yeah I'm like, no, he's okay. Check on him. Yeah. They're going to ask questions. Yeah. I don't have that kind of time. We're doing things. Thought he was sleeping. <laughs> Got business to yeah. do. It's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. I didn't even know he was there, officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're working 20 feet away. Well, yeah, well, I, I mind my business. <laughs> do my own thing. Yeah. I mean, he didn't work here. Yeah. It's a contractor. Yeah. You should work in Paris. You're doing tree work. You yeah. do this by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody will come by. <laughs> come by and check on him. <laughs> Let me come by and why, wonder why this tree's still living down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <clears throat> that's funny yeah that's the way it works <laughs> don't look to me for sympathy <laughs> I fresh ran out oh yeah yeah I don't know if this was quality 200th episode yeah it's always quality when I'm with you yeah sexy yeah quality sexy time yeah we hit a lot of the main points yeah porn sports movies yeah, we talked about po- about Death. ejaculation in the first three minutes. <laughs> That's quality. Yeah. On his leg. Yeah. It was supposed to go on her boobies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the other one. Boobies? Yeah, oh. that reminded me. Um, ah, shit, what's his name? The dude that just got out of prison that shot Reagan. Ronald Reagan, the president. Yeah, I know that you're talking about, but uh, I don't know who the guy's name is. Yeah, because he tried to kill Reagan to impress Jodie Foster. <laughs> oh, and, okay. You know, he got released. Okay. Fuck his name is. Mm-hmm. Well, he keeps like he plays music now. Yeah. And he keeps setting up concert venues. Yeah. And nobody. And knows. then when people find out who who it is, is, they the the venue cancels. Yeah. So it's just like him tweeting out of hey, the, you know, the show's canceled tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's selling art on eBay. Yeah. And they're all like pictures like, of Jody Foster. No. Oh. Okay. But it's like <laughs> abstractly drawn women with huge tits. And it's like, these tits are blue, and these tits are red. And he's t- Hinkley. John Hinkley. John Hinkley. Yeah. He's just like drawing pictures of tits. <laughs> and selling them on eBay. <laughs> so what have you been thinking about in the last yeah, 30 years, years in prison? prison. <laughs> Fucking tits. tits. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then he had some other comments. That, like he, he said... Like it was a tweet that he'd put out like, like people are, it's like he was judging people doing something for like, it's like you tried to kill the president to attract a fucking actress that I think was underage at the time. Okay. Like it was. Yeah. 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 It would have been 80s. Like, yeah, she might've been in college. Maybe Mm -hmm. it's like, and went to prison for that. And yeah, you're judging these people. you're, You're selling pictures of your tit paintings. Yeah. And you're saying, hey, these people are putting too much. Uh-huh. You're not acting right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> pal. Right. <laughs> now, I haven't looked to see how much of the paintings have sold, sold for. Because I feel like they probably go on expensive because somebody's like, pal, we got to buy. Yeah. This is we got to have this. Yeah. At least as a joke. Hey, uh-huh. I uh, bought you this for Christmas. It's a John Hinckley painting, painting, painting of boobs. <laughs> <laughs> eight bucks. It was eight bucks on Amazon <laughs> or eBay. So, uh, yeah, that's funny. Like, yep, <sighs> that's funny. Trying to kill the president? You're an artist. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> You're an artist. <laughs> that's the way it goes. Uh, Either that route or you blow them. Yep. That's <laughs> it. But if you blow them, you're an author. Yes. You're yeah, qualified, you're qualified author. <laughs> author. Uh, that was the uh, now. Nah, obviously, they're fake tweets. Of that was the other one. Was like. You know, what's the worst advice you ever got in your life? And it was Monica Lewinsky going, um, take the inter- internship at the White House. It'll it was forward your career. <laughs> <It'll> forward <laughs> your career. <laughs> uh, you are famous. You are famous. I think you were trying for another route. Yeah. But yeah. A different route. Yeah. Yeah. Not that one. Not that one. No. So, yeah. Let's end it on a attempted murderer painting boobs. Sounds good. (laughs) All right. Whiteside?